Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. This video is created in collaboration with our friends at When to Read What. Check out their channel if you want amazing input on which books to read when. Today's big idea comes from Dr. Spencer Johnson and his best-selling book, Who Moved My Cheese? This book is a parable about the inevitability of change and how we choose to deal with it. The story takes place in a maze, where four characters search for and consume cheese. Sniff and Scurry are mice, while him and Haw are tiny humans. In the beginning, all four characters are happy and satisfied since they have a great stock of cheese to consume. But one day, the cheese is gone. Sniff and Scurry quickly adapt to the new situation and go looking further for cheese reserves. Whereas him and Haw become annoyed and refuse to accept that the cheese is gone. This difference in approach between the two groups is where the fundamental insight of the story takes its origin. See, obviously the story is not really about finding and eating cheese. Instead, the cheese is a metaphor for our wants in life, whether it's a promising career, money, or peace of mind. A synonym for what we think will make us happy. A key point in the book is that change is the only constant in life, and the attitude with which we approach change matters a great deal. In a nutshell, we learn that different people deal with change in different ways, and that our chosen approach has a great impact on how we thrive and survive. Here is our take on the critical insight conveyed in the book. Number one, change is inevitable, so you might as well enjoy it. Change is inevitable if we like it or not, so we might as well go with the flow and enjoy the ride. Remember that learning and experiencing new things are rewarding and that taking control of your situation is empowering. Number two, get out of the comfort zone. Change is a significant component of growth. And growth happens when we go on new adventures. So overcome your fears. Most of it is anyways exaggerated. And move quickly to adapt. Otherwise, you may be left behind. Number three. Anticipation is key. Always aim to be two steps ahead. If we sniff the change, then we can not only prepare ourselves mentally and physically for what is coming, we can also adapt much quicker. Number four, to enjoy the new, we must let go of the old. Far too often, we cannot see what is coming because we are too fixated on what has been or what is. We cling to the status quo for far too long, and as time passes by, it becomes too difficult to change. So when things change, move forward quickly. The longer you wait, the more resistance you build and the harder it will be to adapt. Number five, don't take anything for granted. When we think something is permanent, we can start taking it for granted. By keeping in mind that we never know when things will change, we start valuing everything around us and learn to appreciate it every day. And there you have it. Who Moved My Cheese by Dr. Spencer Johnson in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.